Hi. Good day to you. Today, we are about to tackle an interesting topic. Are you ready to learn some useful knowledge about water pollution? Then, let me ask you one question. Do you know what I-9275 is? I-9275, or also known as the Philippine Clean Water Act of 2004, it is an act providing for a comprehensive water quality management and for other purposes. This act provides for the abatement and control of pollution from land-based sources and lays down water quality standards and regulations. Interesting, right? But before we dig into it more, let's have a brief discussion about water pollution first. So what is water pollution? Water pollution is the contamination of water sources by substances which make the water unusable for drinking, cooking, cleaning, swimming, and other activities. Pollutants include chemicals, trash, bacteria, and parasites. All forms of pollution eventually make their way to water. What causes water pollution? Industrial waste, marine dumping, sewage and wastewater, oil leaks and spills, agriculture, global warming, radioactive waste. These are the examples of what causes water to be polluted. There are two types of water pollution. First is the surface water pollution. It is often caused by nutrients, pathogens, plastics and chemicals such as antibiotics, heavy metals and pesticides. These pollutants have different environmental effects. Excess nutrients, for instance, may result in harmful algal blooms and hypoxia both in rivers and in coastal seas. Second is the groundwater pollution. It occurs when man-made products such as gasoline, oil, road sorts and chemicals get into the groundwater and cause it to become unsafe and unfit for human use. What are the sources? The point source. Any single identifiable source of pollution from which pollutants are discharged, such as a pipe, ditch, sheep or factory smokestack. The non-point force generally results from land runoff, precipitation, atmospheric deposition, drainage, seepage or hydrologic modification. Non-point source pollution, unlike pollution from industrial and sewage treatment plants, comes from many diffuse sources. How this kind of pollution affects human health and the environment? On humanhealth.to put it clearly, contamination of water kills. According to research published in The Lancet in 2015, it was responsible for 1.8 million mortality. Water that has been contaminated makes you sick. A primary source of illness from contaminated drinking water is pathogens in the form of disease causing bacteria and viruses from human and animal waste. On the environment, healthy ecosystems rely on a complex web of animals, plants, microorganisms, and fungi to survive, all of which interact with one another, either directly or indirectly. Any harm to any of these organisms can set off a chain reaction that puts entire aquatic ecosystems in danger. When pollution generates an algal bloom in a lake or marine environment, the newly introduced nutrients drive plant and algae development, lowering oxygen levels in the water. Eutrophication, or a lack of oxygen, suffocates plants and animals and can result in dead zones or areas of water that are essentially devoid of life. Very concerning, isn't it? That is why the government implemented the RA 9275 to control and prevent further damage to our water bodies. Now, let us see what are the general provisions under this law. Water pollution permits. The department shall implement a wastewater charge system in all management areas and regional industrial centers through the collection of wastewater charges or FEs. The system shall be established on the basis of payment to the government for discharging wastewater into the water bodies. The fee shall be based on the net waste load, depending on the used water charge formula, which shall be established with due public consultation within six months from the effectivity of this Act. Industries whose water effluent are within standards promulgated pursuant to this Act shall only be charged with a minimal reasonable amount, which shall be determined by the department after due public consultation giving account to the metric rate of discharge and the effluent concentration. The department shall require owners or operators of facilities that discharge regulated effluents pursuant to this act to secure a permit to discharge. The discharge permit shall be the legal authorization granted by the department to discharge wastewater. Who is the leading agency under this law? The DENR, or the Department of Environment and Natural Resources, is the primary government agency responsible for the implementation and enforcement of this Act, with the support of other government organizations, local government units, non-government organizations, and the private sector. 
What is the role of different stakeholders? LGUs shall share the responsibility in the management and improvement of water quality within their territorial jurisdictions. Each LGU shall, through its Environment and Natural Resources Office, ENRO established in Republic Act No. 7160, have the following powers and functions. Monitoring of water quality, emergency response, compliance with the framework of the Water Quality Management Action Plan, to take active participation in all efforts concerning water quality protection and rehabilitation, and to coordinate with other government agencies and civil society and the concerned sectors in the implementation of measures to prevent and control water pollution. What are the penal provisions stated in RE 9275? Any person who commits any of the prohibited acts provided in the immediately preceding section or violates any of the provision of this act or its implementing rules and regulations shall be fined by the Secretary. Upon the recommendation of the PAP in the amount of not less than 10,000 pesos na, more than 200,000 pesos for every day of violation, the fines herein prescribed shall be increased by 10% every two years to compensate for inflation and to maintain the deterrent function of such fines. Failure to undertake take clean-up operations, willfully, or through gross negligence, shall be punished by imprisonment of not less than two years, and not more than four years, and a fine not less than 50,000 pesos, and not more than 100,000 pesos per day for each day of violation, that water pollution cases involving acts or omissions committed within any region should be dealt with in accordance with the procedure under Republic Act No. 4850 as amended. Every one of us has the responsibility to take care of our environment. It is our home, and we should be the one to make it a better place to live on. Just like Audrey Hepburn said, water is life and clean water means health. That's it for today. Be informed, be aware, be concerned. Thank you, Sam Muley, Audios.